welcome back. Or if it's your first visit, welcome. You are very welcome. I always say welcome back, but there's always a first time for everything, eh? So, this is another Belgian beer. This is my final Belgian beer in the series. I don't know how appropriate it is for things that are going on in the world at the moment. I don't do politics on my videos. I'm, I'm a very political animal, but not on my YouTube channel. This is Taras Bulba, who was a famous Ukrainian Cossack, or Russian Cossack, from Ukraine. Make it that what you will. Ukraine was partly Russia at the time. So, anyway, I don't know if the beer's named after that. I, I would imagine it is. I mean, why choose that name? Not unless it means something else in Belgium. Anyway, it's a Belgian blonde ale. Taras Bulba. Extra hoppy ale. Very hoppy. It's from Brasserie de la Seine. I've had a few of their beers. In Brussels. It's a 33 centiliter bottle. 4.5% ABV. So fairly, fairly low. There's a, I don't know what that represents, the, the B graphic. It looks interesting. There must be a story behind it though. I'll see if I can find out what that is. Nothing on the back there. Just ingredients. Okie doke. Let's crack it open. That's an interesting label, isn't it? Was Noble Hop Session Beer. Beer Belgique Organic Beer. Noble Hops. I don't know what the hops are. There's four of them, so. Best before July, 13th of July 22. Bottled 13th of July 21. I've had it a while already. Right Let's crack it open enough for a rambling. I'm not with the branded glass, I'm using my La Chouf. La Chouf, eh? That is very active. I spilt a milliliter. I shall suck that bath towel later on to get that beer. So it's very active, it's got a pinky of quite loose foam dishwater soap suds. It's very super pale, like a pale lemon, like a straw colour. There's a wee bit of activity going on, some medium rising bubbles. I do like the colour actually. It's a lot paler. I don't know what I was expecting, but I didn't expect it to be like that pale. There is a cloudiness there as well. But it looks it looks appealing anyway. Let's get a wee head on it. That is active. Eh? Well I was expecting it to be super hoppy, but it's not, it's it's there's a bit of lemony, citrus. Yeah, let's have a wee look at the temperature. 9.3. So... Yeah, sort of like a lemon sorbet. Quite subtle. Anyway, cheers my dears. It's good. But that is the hoppiest beer I've had in a long, long time. It's not like a West Coast IPA. That's what it tastes like. It's, it's very dry. Super pithy. Bitter. Pleasant bitterness. I've no idea what the IBUs in this are, but I would imagine it's 70, 80, something like that. Just a wild guess. Though. Four and a half percent, yeah, you can't, there's no alcohol presence really. 
a wee bit of tingle. I think that's from the bitterness. There's a slight lemony fruitiness there as well. That must be for the hops. It's, it's a very pleasant beer. It's not, it's not my usual style. It's, it's an unusual blonde beer. This is extra hoppy. Who defines beer styles? You know, I suppose it's, I think it's classed as a Belgian blonde, but it's not like any other one I've ever had, so. <laughs> Who am I saying it? But anyway, let's have a look online, see what we can find out. Okay, we have Taris Bulba from Brasserie de la Seine in Brussels, in Belgium. It's a Belgian blonde. 4.5% ABV. The IBU, 33. What did I say? 70 or 80? <laughs> it shows you how much I know. I think it is quite bitter. Doesn't it doesn't taste like a 33, put it that way. French check-ins, 2. With an average, say, 2.88. I think that's quite low. Everyone else, 59,000. With an average, of 3.35. It's not doing well, is it? Uh, details, light blonde with 4.5% alcohol. Generously hopped with the finest aromatic hops, giving a very refreshing character and a scent reminiscent of citrus. It is that lemony. The descriptors are hoppy, light, dry, clean, floral. You know floral might be a wee bit. Yeah. It's an unusual taste. It's a very nice beer. It's very refreshing, actually. Yeah. What will I give? I'll give this 8 out of 10. It's a very well made beer. It's very, I think it's a good beer. Well made beer. Let's have a wee look. I did that look up uh, Taris Bulba. It's a romanticised historical novella by Nikola, Nikolai Gogol. And it describes the life of uh, Zap Zaporzian Cossack Taras Bulba and his two sons. The sons study at Kiev Academy and return home. Whereupon the three men set on a journey to the Cossack headquarters in southern Ukraine, where they join the other other Cossacks and go to war against Poland. Poor Poland. Was in the wars. So it was from 1835. I think I might have a read it. So whether the beer's named after that or inspired by that, I have no idea. It seems an odd coincidence that they're both called Taris Bull, but slightly different spellings. That's got an extra O in it. Anyway, I'm sure you switched off. If you're still with me, well done. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time, hopefully. Ta-ta for now. Cheers, my dears.